paying tribute to Hong Kong director Patrick Longgong's life and achievement, Museum of the Movie Image will present a series of film screening events titled Yesterday, Today, Tomorrow. Now I'm here at Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office for the press conference of this program and learn more about this Hong Kong legendary filmmaker. You may not be familiar with Patrick Wong Kong, but if you've heard of A Better Tomorrow by Zhang Wu and Choi Hock, you might know of his work. A Better Tomorrow is a remake inspired by Patrick Wong Kong's crime thriller, Story of a Discharged Prisoner. Having made his first film 50 years ago, Wong Kong is considered one of Hong Kong's most influential filmmakers of the 60s and 70s and has had a profound impact on following generations of filmmakers. <laughs> these films would not have happened, all these films uh, would not have happened without your films, the films of Wong Kar Wai, and Choi Hark, and John Wu, who you're going to hear from on a videotape message a little bit later. So we're, we're thrilled to be showing these films on the big screen. Uh, he is really the seed that Cantonese cinema in the 70s and 80s sprouted from. And his films don't just capture what Hong Kong used to look like and be like uh, photographically, they capture the spirit. During the press conference, director Choi Hock delivered a speech stressing Wong Kong's significant efforts to revolutionize Cantonese films back in the 1960s. He says through Long Kong's films, people can witness a third in reality of Hong Kong in the 60s. A special video made by Choi Hock and Zhang Wu was also shown that expressed their admiration and respect. Director Long Kong was ahead of his time. He ventured into many virgin territories and addressed the social issues that other filmmakers overlooked. He also shared the secret behind his vision and success from the 60s. Coinciding with the title of screening program Yesterday, Today, Tomorrow, Long Kong in his 80s and Choi Hock in his mid 60s represent Hong Kong cinemas yesterday and today. They also talked about the future of Hong Kong cinema. For more information from Sunovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sunovision.net. Reporting for Sunovision Journal, I'm Jane Stone.